In one corner, we've got Lisa Vanderpump, the classy lady with a British touch. She's all about elegance, pink, and running fancy restaurants. But lately, some fans are wondering if her housewife's reign is coming to an end. Is she still the queen of the ratings, or is it time for a new ruler? And in the other corner, we have Kyle Richards, a fashion-forward lady with a no-nonsense attitude. She's been part of Lisa's crew for a while, but rumors are flying that she's ready to take over the throne herself. Will she finally be the queen of the Beverly Hills housewives, or is Lisa going to keep her crown? Let's find out. Kyle Richards, known for her role in The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills, has recently become the talk of the town due to her split from husband Mauricio Yamansky. Yamansky confirmed the news in a chat with TMZ, leaving fans eager to see how this unfolds in the upcoming 13th season. Lately, there has been a lot of buzz around Kyle Richards and her close friendship with Wade, leading some fans to speculate if it played a part in her split from Mauricio. Both Kyle and Wade have been quick to shut down any talk of a romantic connection, insisting their relationship is strictly platonic. While the exact reasons for Kyle and Mauricio's separation remain a mystery, Kyle recently gave a subtle hint on Instagram. She liked a quote about the pain of feeling ignored by a partner, suggesting there might be some underlying issues. Now here's the juicy part. Kyle seemingly called the paparazzi herself to capture her leaving an appointment. Yes, you heard that right. Instead of dodging the cameras, she invited them. Why on earth would she do that, you ask? Well, there are a few possible reasons. Firstly, Kyle is a seasoned reality TV star, and in that world, personal moments like this become part of the storyline. Maybe she saw it as a chance to take control of the narrative and share her side of the story directly with fans. Secondly, in the world of celebrity and reality TV, media attention is like fuel. By making herself the center of attention during the appointment, she might have tried to shift the spotlight from other rumors about her separation. When you're a public figure, managing the narrative around your personal life becomes a strategic move. Confirming the separation may have been a way for Kyle to regain control over the information circulating in the media. A telling detail is a recent photo of Kyle credited to Backgrid. In celebrity photography, crediting a photo to Backgrid usually means the photographer was tipped off or informed about the photo opportunity in advance. This begs the question, is Kyle purposely attracting paparazzi attention while acting irritated about it? It's a common move in the world of celebrities and reality TV, where controlling the narrative and managing your public image is everything. In a recent chat on Bravo's Hot Mike podcast, Kyle addressed the rumors about her marriage to Mauricio Umansky. Hosted by Alex Baskin, a Bravo exec, Kyle responded to the claim that she's fabricating issues in her marriage for relevance. Expressing her disbelief, Kyle said, Who would create a story like this for ratings? Put their family through this? That is one of the dumbest things I've maybe ever heard in these 13 years. She strongly dismissed the idea of pretending to be separated just for the sake of TV ratings. Emphasizing her long tenure on the show, Kyle pointed out that her concern is about people's misconception. I care about being relevant to my friends and family. Yes, I'm on television, but I'm good, she clarified, adding, I would never put my family through this, ever. The Halloween Ant star expressed her frustration with a speculation, calling it annoying and frustrating. She emphasized that the fabrication allegations don't align with who she is. Addressing other online rumors, Kyle dismissed claims of an open marriage with Mauricio. She also pushed back against suggestions that she's with him for the money, stating, He had no money when I married him, you idiots. Oh, and she just stays there and puts up with all this so that she can keep spending his money. First of all, it's our money that he didn't have before. Kyle set the record straight, making it clear that the rumors circulating about a personal life are far from the truth. On the other hand, season 10 of Vanderpump Rules has been a massive hit for Bravo and Peacock, drawing in over 115 million hours of viewership across both platforms and smaller digital apps. The reality show, centered around Lisa Vanderpump and her restaurant staff, scored big with over 11.4 million total viewers. The season gained extra momentum when news broke out about Sandoval having a secret affair with co-star Raquel Levis behind Maddox's back, adding a juicy twist to the drama. 
The May and June reunion specials were also a major success, each reaching 6.5 million viewers across all platforms in the first three days. Notably, the first reunion special on May 24 became the most-watched Bravo episode in over nine years and the highest-viewed Vanderpump Rules episode ever, with 4.6 million total viewers across all platforms in the first three days. Amidst these high ratings, the Vanderpump Rules rumor mill is buzzing. And it all started with alum Stassi Schroeder. In March, she floated the theory that Tom Schwartz was merely a cover-up for the secret affair between Raquel Levis and Tom Sandoval. This idea gained traction, with various cast members both current and past chiming in. Lala Ken referred to Schwartz as a decoy, while Kristen Dowd suggested he might have known more than he let on. Jax Taylor and Brittany Cartwright, an alum power couple, are the latest to join the speculation during the filming of of Peacock's Watch With special. In a reaction to the April 19, 2023 episode of Vanderpump Rules, they expressed shock at Raquel's duplicity. Jax remarked, This whole time she's just putting on a show to make it look like there's nothing going on between her and Tom Sandoval. He accused Raquel of playing a role and suggested she should consider pursuing an acting career. Brittany, equally surprised, shared her thoughts on the events from August 2022, realizing that Raquel and Sandoval had started their affair during that time. She said, I didn't think she had it in her. I thought she was a nice, sweet girl. In the latest Vanderpump Rules episode, Raquel continues to pretend interest in Sandoval's best friend, all while receiving a playful smack on the bottom from the Sandoval and the most extras frontman. Jax expressed frustration with the ongoing charade, saying, Oh God, with a sad story of Schwartz showing interest. Like, I'm over this already. Just say, listen, Sandoval made me do this because we're hooking up. <sighs> Taking offense to a scene where Lisa Vanderpump advised Schwartz to take responsibility, Jax argued, Sandoval is the one that put him up to that. I'm sorry, that's the truth. That's what happened. I've never been wrong about anything that's happened on this show. According to podcasters Lara Schoenholz and Holly Borges, the recent scandal on Vanderpump Rules might not be as spontaneous as it seems. Schoenholz finds it suspicious that this drama unfolded just when the show's viewership was declining, suggesting a calculated move to regain interest. Borges points to various clues that indicate a planned storyline. Cast members teased explosive developments in podcast interviews, and she uncovered a filming permit in front of a cast member's building after the season had supposedly wrapped. This suggests that preparations were in place even before the scandal involving Sandoval Bro. Despite Bravo's statement that the season wasn't re-edited in light of the affair discovery, Sarah C., another podcast co-host, believes the producers must have known or had strong suspicions about the affair. An episode aired in April, filmed earlier, showed Sandoval appearing to touch Levis's rear end. The franchise was reportedly becoming stale in recent years, but the episode following the scandal saw a notable 30% increase in viewership compared to the previous week. A Bravo source mentioned that there was no staging involved, and while rumors circulated about the affair during production, they were initially dismissed. It was only when the news became confirmed that cameras resumed capturing the unfolding drama. In a bizarre turn of events, Teddy Mellencamp from The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills also stirred up controversy by suggesting that Lisa Vanderpump paid Raquel to sleep with Tom for a rating boost on Vanderpump Rules. However, Lisa Vanderpump didn't let this rumor gain traction. She quickly took to Twitter to set the record straight, denying any involvement in paying Raquel or any other Vanderpump Rules cast members to engage in romantic entanglements for the sake of ratings. LVP's tweet stated, They do that on their own. Hashtag fake news. Have a beautiful day, everybody. Do you think Lisa Vanderpump and Kyle Richards are genuinely stirring the pot of the real housewives of Beverly Hills? Or are they cranking up the drama for the sake of ratings? Who's your bet for the ultimate ratings queen? Lisa or Kyle? Let us know in the comments. If you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe for all the Hollywood tea and drama. If there's juice to be had, you can count on Miss Juice to bring it to you.